it generally many readers would say oh your dream is coming true oh everything is happening kind of like make a wish right um but to me this is more talking about that probably there was some kind of hardship that has been experienced maybe there has been sorrow maybe there has been pain um it certainly kind of like also tells me that certain things from the past have been um probably bubbling up to the surface right and um it's a uh, it's another minor arcana right so even though it's you see how longer readings are always better because if you just got a short reading and I got this card, I would just tell you all about it. But like we did see about the cards that jumped, which I generally don't have time to cover when I do shorter readings, is how this is basically direct decision of our are basically kind of like steps toward that success, right? Because this is clearly about, um, you know, anything we put our mind to, we can accomplish. It kind of represents this triumph, its success, its achievement. I really like this rendition here better than the guy with his uh, hands kind of like uh, twisted in front of him. But this is really talking about having high self-esteem and self-confidence. Okay, this is really, really big. Why? Because when we enter Leo period, in Leo period, we usually feel weak. We usually feel, oh my goodness, you know, uh, kind of like my energy is low. Uh, it's the height of the summer. We like summer, but I don't know why. I don't feel like going anywhere. That kind of a stuff, right? And this, in fact, can talk about at rest as well. But it's going to feel like a comfortable well-earned rest it's going to feel like that we're enjoying life that we are kind of like enjoying comforts of life there is like kind of like some relaxation that is coming in a way right and this actually can talk about parties i know that most aquarians and this is kind of like weird to say uh, they're not really party animals aquarians kind of like we have our own thing we do our own thing sometimes we belong to the groups and the problem with us belonging to the groups is that they want us to lead them they want us to to kind of like to their mission etc and then if we do then somebody else who was like sitting in the bushes <laughs> wants to ambush us with no i'm the king leader and that's kind of like look i have no time for this i'm, I'm gone kind of a thing in love and relationships, it looks like there is a still a big indecision, guys. And there is some harm that has been done. I mean, there is like something that we need to pick ourselves up and pull one sword at a time, right? But this is going to indicate that we are now in a good place, right? So this is where that wish card starts kicking in. And if you're in a relationship, uh, you'll be really happy and you'll be very fulfilled with card, with this card. And psst, it's an indicator of a very good sex and kind of like sensuality and expect plenty of romance. So being that we are going through Leo, you might even expect kind of like bouquet of roses or some really sweet card and somebody who is not putting emoticons, like for the people who are not as creative or... Um, who maybe a little bit on a stingy side they're going to at the very least spend time to kind of like pick exact kind of emoticons for you but it's going to mean something to you right this also can indicate for some of you who maybe have been going through the rough situation in a, in a relationship finally there is like this commitment and now you're seeing this path that you're walking together hand in hand now you're seeing that this can actually represent engagement that can represent marriage that can represent represent pregnancy if you are single and you maybe held yourself back from dating and some of you like I mean, I'm picking up you said never again I will never subject myself to that pain of me giving my heart to one person and then this person taking that and stabbing me and cheating on me and whatever this, these are kind of like massive confusions that are happening and almost like robbing you out of life right robbing you of that kind of exploration that we generally do so this really talks about 
that at this stage we are going to have confidence. We are going to be able to attract the right person, right? We are like finally in this like very healthy state mentally and emotionally. So this is kind of like talking about learning from the past experiences and this is talking about the level of emotional maturity because after all this checkerboard here signifies right and wrong, right? So he is very comfortable being in a right or in a wrong relationship. Why? Because you know you can exit and now you know you can recognize these red flags and not give yourself seven years of pain or whatever it was lasting, right? So it's a great time to go out and meet new people, Mercury retrograde or not, right? Or even maybe giving these other people a different chance and this is one of those rare situations because we are going through Mercury retrograde and I can see that something has been there because sometimes people have awakening and it can change things and that's absolutely possible. As far as health, um, it could be that some of you suffered from some health issues, uh, including kind of like rashes, including uh, things with, with your feet and with kind of like legs in particular, I'm picking up on it. But s this is going to resolve right now. And it is really now the time to pamper yourself. So if you can afford massage, go for it. If not, have some me time. Uh, it can also in, in uh, kind of like talk about overindulgence and kind of like be kind of like very careful because that can have effect on your health. So generally I would say that this is going to be happy and fulfilling period on many levels and what is the most important is like that radiating kind of like energy is going to go toward everything where we walk into it and it's going to be uh, almost like the energy of love so really rejoice and enjoy it